In this lesson, I'm going to talk about topology and why we need to retopologize. I'm just going to go to my light box here and I'm going to go to tools. And I'm going to use the Z Sketch facial anatomy so I could better demonstrate and explain to you while I'm talking about topology and retopologizing. I'm just going to double click on this subtool right here. Turn off light box, click hold and drag onto my canvas there and go to edit mode. So as you can see here, this is made out of a Z sketch. If I press A on the keyboard, you could see the unified skin and this is the mesh that we need here. I'm just going to I'm going to need the unified skin, so I'm just going to go to unified skin here on the right and I'm going to click on make unified skin. And once you do that, you should see your unified skin right here. It's going to be called skin underscore Z sketch underscore facial so I'm just gonna click on that and this is basically what we need so we could see the topology click on the poly F so you can see the topology of this and it's kinda hard to see right now because they're basically all in different colors looks like this mesh are in separate parts so when you see different colors like that and you press control shift on your keyboard and you click on each individual color here you could isolate them and right now we don't need this to be separated we don't need this mesh to have separate parts so we're just going to auto group this so we can better see the topology of this so i'm going to go to polygroups and i'm going to turn on auto groups here so now we could better see the topology so what is topology topology is the way your geometry flows around the surface of your model. The edges and polygons that you see here creates your topology. Right now, the topology for this is not what we want if we want to animate this. All right, This is not something that you could take into a software program and begin animating, as this is problematic. Why, why do we need to retopologize? When working with ZBrush or any sculpting software program we are able to sculpt naturally in a way that is very similar to how you would sculpt traditionally the visual result is great but it also results to a mesh with millions of polygons so if you export your mesh out as it is right now and you try to put it in a software program like 3ds max or maya it will cause your animation program to bog down or just crash this is the reason why we need to lay down a low polygon mesh on top of this high density mesh through the process called retopologizing. Another reason why we need to retopologize is so that our character will be animatable. Animating a character requires good topology in order for it to deform properly. The topology flow of the character right now does not follow the structure or shape of the character. If we want our character to be able to move naturally then we need to retopologize our character the new topology that we need to create for this character for this mesh right here had to follow the muscle fibers the muscle definition of the face and right now as as you can see it is definitely not following the the muscle structure right now this is basically how it looks like it looks like a grid like pattern um, let me just turn off poly F here and let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to just use poly paint. I'm going to go to my standard brush, turn off Z add, turn on RGB mode, and I'm going to use matte cap gray for now. And I'm going to go to my color. I'm going to fill the object in with white. I'm going to show you later on how to poly paint, but right now I just need to use the poly paint so I could better demonstrate when I'm talking about topology flow here. And I'm just going to go to the red color here and okay so right now right the topology flow of this basically it just look like a it's a grid like pattern right there's no flow to it no flow to it and it doesn't seem to follow the the shape of the face at all okay let me just undo that Right. So what we need is a topology that that flows around the eyes like this. 
We need a loop on the eyes. Loop around here, nose, around the mouth area. Right? It has to follow the definition of the face. Ear area. It has to follow the shape of the character. Okay? And right now, we just don't see that. Okay? Right now, all we see, the edges here, the polygons there, are basically just sitting on the face with no topological flow. And the way you animate in a 3D software program is basically grabbing the points, the vertices of the topology, and moving them, scaling them, influencing them using some animation tools in a software program. And if you try to grab some points around the eye area, and let's say you try to make your character blink, it's just not going to move naturally because the way these points, the way the edges are placed here for the topology. If you are a 3D modeler for a game company or animation company, and you try to give this to the rigger, he's not going to be happy. He's not going to be happy. This will be a pain in the butt to animate. So this mesh right here needs to be retopologized. On the next lesson, I'm going to show you different ways of how to retopologize a character in ZBrush. So I'll see you in the next lesson.